Hello everybody, this is Kirby over yonder, and the late Philip J. Fry is one of the best episodes in all of Futurama. At the very least, it's gotta be the best of the Comedy Central era. Not that this is some unpopular opinion or anything, but I do want to examine what makes this episode as great as it is. So, with that being said, here we... WHOA! First things first, I love time travel stories. The idea of characters from the present being able to interact with the past or future is just incredibly fun to me. Hence why the Back to the Future movies are some of my favorites of all time. However, it's difficult writing a time travel story without creating some sort of weird plot hole or just something that doesn't add up. Even Endgame, for as much as it tries to lampshade this, has that problem too. But hey, the time travel in that movie is really fun, so nobody really cares that much. This is why time travel in general is kind of a guilty pleasure to me. It's an inherently fun concept, but doesn't make too much sense once you actually start thinking about it. That being said, in terms of just making sense, the late Philip J. Fry is probably one of the best time travel stories out there. Because the characters only interact with the future, and the alternate versions of themselves are killed immediately, there really aren't any plot holes. Also, take that Rick and Morty, Futurama did it first. We get to see a bunch of creative and interesting future versions of Earth in this episode. I like how none of them look quite the same. I mean, there's literally a montage showing all the different future versions of Earth. It's weird, despite how big and grand this whole episode is, it never exactly feels that grand. I feel like Fry, Bender, and the Professor do a good job balancing out the tone of this one, making it so it doesn't feel too heavy or too depressing. It still feels very much like a Futurama episode. Like, we're literally watching the Earth blow up and they're still having casual conversations. It's cool how the episode also shows us the future of Planet Express, as well as Leela's life without Fry. Poor Zoidberg. I'm not that big a fan of the idea of Leela dating Qbert, but hey, what's she gonna do? I like that the show sticks with this ending too. Sure, Fry does end up with Leela, but our Leela, the one we knew from the beginning, ended up without Fry. Leela's message to Fry is definitely one of the most heart-wrenching scenes in the entire show. I find it interesting how, even though Leela did get over Fry, she never truly stopped caring about him. I wonder if she ever thinks about what her life would be like if Fry was still in it. In case you haven't been listening to me for the past few minutes, the late Philip J. Fry is a masterpiece. It's an episode that manages to be fun and enjoyable, while also being very profound. It's an episode that leaves you smiling, but at the same time makes you think about life. It's an episode that's big and grand, but also not too much of a bummer. It's absolutely one of Futurama's best.